You're watching the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. Hey guys, welcome back to the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. It's that time of the year. We learn our fixture list. Let's have a little look then, shall we? Um, make sure you smash that like button, regardless of whether you like the transfer, sorry, the, the fixture list or not. Uh, a tough start, I'll be honest with you. So we'll start off with uh, Liverpool Real Betis on the, this is pre-season, 27th of July. Liverpool versus Arsenal, 1st of August. Manchester United versus Liverpool, 4th of August. And then that's your pre-season done. I'm assuming that Liverpool are going to squeeze in one more home fixture after that one um, in between the first day of the season, which is the 17th. And it's as if they knew. I tell you what, let's give Liverpool the furthest away game at the earliest time at the newly promoted team, Ipswich. 12.30... Ipswich away. Um, you never really want to play a newly promoted team away first game of the season. You never want to play your first game of the season at 12.30. And you never want to play your first game of the season, which is probably around about a five to six hour drive away from Liverpool. That's what we've got. It carries on. The 12.30 curse carries on. So it's Ipswich to start. It's Brentford at home on the 24th of August. And then, oh my God. It's Manchester United again, twice in a month, away on the 31st of August. Damn, um, madness, to be honest. Liverpool, Nottingham Forest, 14th of December at home. Liverpool, Bournemouth, 21st of De uh, September at home. Then it's 28th of September, away at Wolves. And then at home, uh, sorry, away, we're at, we're at Crystal Palace on the 5th of October, 19th of October, it's Chelsea at home. And then this is another big one, as if the Chelsea game at home wasn't big enough. Straight after that, it's an away trip to the Emirates, a place that we lost 3-1 last season. We did win there in the FA Cup. Uh, and then it's Brighton at home. We're going to have a bit of a morning smoothie situation, 3 o'clock. Um, again, there's international breaks in between all of these games. Liverpool Aston Villa the 9th of November at home. Southampton 23rd of November at home. And don't forget, all of these games are subject to change, including the next one, Liverpool versus Man City, the 30th of November at 3 o'clock. I guarantee you now that will not be a 3 o'clock kickoff. Um, it's a placeholder. Um, and then the week after that, as we dive into the Christmas period, it's Newcastle at home on the 4th of December. And look at that, Everton away, 7th of December. That's two massive, huge away. Three big games in a row, that. City at home, Newcastle away, Everton away. Um, and then it's Fulham at home on the 14th of December. 21st of December, it's Tottenham away. And then on Boxing Day, it's Leicester who come to Anfield. And I guarantee they'll be singing Feed the Scousers. I guarantee... They'll be singing the, the national anthem. I'll be honest with you, I've been to Leicester home and away and it sounds maybe a bit stereotypical, but I don't like their fans. They remind me of a Midlands Chelsea. Um, so again, I, I can already see the, the headlines coming out of that one in terms of their fan behaviour. Um, just before the New Year strikes, it's West Ham away, a place that we lost. Uh, oh, drew two all, didn't we, last season? I was at that game. And then we start the year off, 2025, at home to Manchester United on the 5th, sorry, 4th of January. Again, that's a placeholder. It's a three o'clock kickoff at the minute. It won't be. Forest away, 14th of January, which will be the game um, closest to my birthday. I always look out to see which games are around my birthday. I'm sure you guys at home do too. Um, and then it's uh, Brentford away on the 18th of Jan. Again, that's probably a placeholder. Um, my birthday is the 17th, so actually that one's closer to my birthday. And then it's at home to Ipswich Town, the team that we play away on the first day of the season, away at Bournemouth, a lot of travelling away days here. Um, and then we jump into February, at home uh, to Wolves the day after Valentine's Day. Will it be a lovely surprise? Probably not. Man City away on the 22nd of February, uh, 26th of February. It's Newcastle at home, 
8th of March, that's the international break. Um, there is a, a Liverpool versus Southampton uh, at 3 o'clock. And then it's Aston Villa away, 25th, uh, sorry, the 15th of March. And look at that, the 2nd of April, the day after April Fool's Day. It looks like it's going to be a Monday night kickoff. Liverpool versus Everton, the second derby of the season. Um, Fulham away, 5th of April. I do like a, a Fulham away day um, in April as the sun's coming out. Obviously not this year. Liverpool West Ham, 12th of April. Away to Leicester, 19th of April. And then listen to this for the last five games of the season, right? This is where we hope, we pray that Liverpool are going to be fighting on all fronts. Um, so it starts off like this. Liverpool Tottenham on the 26th of April, again, that's down as a three o'clock. It will subject to change that one. It's very rare that these top six games take place at three o'clock. Um, we know there's still the three o'clock blackout rule. Um, so Liverpool Tottenham on the 26th of April, then Chelsea away on the 3rd of May. Arsenal at home on the 10th of May. Brighton away on the 18th of May. And on the 25th of May, the day that Liverpool won the Champions League against uh, AC Milan in Istanbul. It's Liverpool Crystal Palace at home. So let's just dive into uh, the first five and the last five. So guys, rate it in the comments down below. How difficult is these first five games? We've got um, <clears throat> Ipswich away. All right. In terms of difficulty, I'll give that a seven. Again, I've said it all. The newly promoted teams, they're going to have an absolute field day in terms of their fans and it's an early kickoff so you can guarantee their fans will be well up for it you can guarantee the atmosphere is going to be intense <sighs> that's a seven out of ten for me liverpool brentford at home six out of ten easiness united away two out of ten easiness no matter how poor they are and again i'll probably run into the same lines that i gave flex in the preview last year when we went to old trafford you'd expect to win but there's something about Old Trafford. Maybe it's the leaks. Maybe it's the lack of food and safety and health and hygiene ratings. Maybe it's the lack of hair on the manager. No? Bit of a joke there because obviously our one is Dutch and bold as well now. But that's a 2 out of 10 in terms of easiness. Forest at home, you'd think we'd win that. It was tough last year. I'll go for 7 out of 10. And then we do get a nice home game at home to Bournemouth, which I'll give an 8 out of 10 in terms of easiness. And then the last five games, you're looking at Leicester away. <coughs> Apologies. <coughs> hay fever still gets you, even if it's not sunny, guys. Take your, your, your hay fever rousy you tablets. Um, so the last five games, Liverpool Tottenham at home. We never lose to Tottenham at home. So I'll give that a seven out of ten easiness. Chelsea away. <coughs> Jesus, man. Chelsea away. Um, two out of ten easiness. It's rare that we go there and put on a, a clinic. Um, very tough place still to go away. But then it's Arsenal at home. I'm going to give that an eight out of ten difficulty level. Brighton away, six out of ten difficulty level. <laughs> and then Liverpool at home to Palace on the last day of the season. I'll give that a six. Right, so there's your fixtures. Of course, we get a newly promoted team away first game of the season. Of course, it's a 12.30 kickoff. And then, of course, we play Manchester United twice in the month of August. Um, Christmas time, um, again, difficult. You know, Tottenham away, Leicester at home, West Ham away, and then United at home, 4th of January. And then, yeah, a really tough ending as well. But listen, you have to play all of these teams at some point. It does matter about the order because you can gain momentum, lose momentum, gain momentum. Obviously, we want to win every single game going. But at the same time, it's a tough start and it's a tough finish. So again, let me know in the comments how you are reacting all over the world to these fixture lists. I did get a, uh, a fake fixture list sent to me last night. It said we were playing Chelsea away again first day of the season. So I didn't believe it. But this is official, guys. It's a tough start. It's a tough end. But how else do you want it? Let me know in the comments. That is Liverpool's fixture list announcement video for you. Smash that like button. Do me a favour. Make sure you go back and watch Hot Copics from yesterday of myself and Doyle. And then if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Loads of great stuff coming up, including more on the radars and Hot Copics and pre-season stuff across the summer. You can't miss out. Take care.
Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed this, make sure you check out the rest of the channel too. There's other stuff you'll enjoy for sure. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the Cop TV. The, the voice, voice of, of football's, football's most, most famous, famous dad. dad. Come on.